All right, all right. Welcome, everybody, to another episode of Hot Seat Automotive Podcast. Your buddy CJ here. We're talking about all things automotive industry. We're talking about car guy stuff. We're talking about cars, 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 all the things automotive enthusiasts really love talking about. Guys, this is the place to be for real gearhead talk. Real gearhead talk is here. You and I together. Thank you once again, everybody, for being involved with the channel. I am so grateful to all of my subscribers. Guys, give me a like and subscribe if you haven't done so already. Uh, I really appreciate everybody getting involved. We've been having a blast on this channel. Just car guys and car girls getting together, talking about cars, sharing our experience. That's what we do. That's what I've always done as an automotive enthusiast. How about you? I bet you you're the same as CJ. I bet you're the same as your buddy CJ. Bet you always love cars, always love talking about cars, driving cars, looking at cars, working on cars. That's what we do around here. All these things. Guys, leave me comments. As you know, your buddy CJ responds to all the comments he can, and we're really having a great time. Guys, tonight, what are we talking about? Tonight, we're talking about the Ford Mustang GTD. This thing is huge. This thing is incredible. And I wanted to come on here tonight and talk about it for a few minutes, talk about what this car is, the significance of this car, but then I'm going to go out on a limb. Your buddy CJ is going to go out on a limb. I'm going to leave you in suspense, and I might surprise a few of you tonight. Get ready. Get ready, people. Gear up, ladies and gentlemen. Your buddy CJ is going to go out on a limb right here live with you tonight on the Ford GTD. GTD. Sorry, guys. But uh, let's get right into it. Come on now. As you know, on this channel, we have fun, don't we? In everything that we do, and we look at things together. So let's do that now. What are we looking at here? This is the Ford Mustang GTD. This is a special car. This is not your regular everyday Mustang. This is not a Cobra. This is not, you know, some special edition GT350 or GT500. This isn't the Shelby Cobra. This is a different animal. Okay. What we're talking about here is 5.2 liter V8 with somewhere on the order of 800 plus horsepower. Supercharged. That's the target. It's got an eight speed dual clutch, but it's a transaxle. This car is going to be near 50 50 weight distribution. Really cool. This car will have a carbon fiber drive, drive shaft. Are you kidding me? Carbon fiber drive shaft, really cool. High tech car, guys. Legit racing technology and inspiration here. This thing is track capable. Advanced suspension. It's got a dynamic rear wing. Look at that rear wing on this thing. Looks like the rear wing off a of Cessna. You know, you talk about downforce. She's putting down some downforce, keeping that rear end down. Mustang boys, I'll tell you, this thing is really cool. Guys, these are going to be hand-delivered to your home. How's that sound? Pretty cool, right? You talk about white glove experience for a Mustang. Now, there's more to the story, though. You know, this thing is inspired by the Mustang GT3 intended for Le Mans. Okay, this thing's going to have a carbon fiber body. Looks like a regular Mustang. Maybe, kind of, sort of, but it isn't. Look at those front fenders. Does that kind of remind you of the Porsche GT3 RS? Leave me comments, GT2 RS. Like, you could compare the cars, right? It's kind of an interesting and fun comparison. And I know Porsche guys are going to lose their minds from me saying it, but I don't care. This car is special, and I think it's absolutely incredible. Guys, now the downside. You ready? This is a $300,000 Mustang. So, you know, Mustang GT, what are you looking at? Thirty to $50,000, a dark horse, something like that. You know, if we want to goose out GT500, we're looking at 70, 80, 90, $100,000. You know, this car is next level and the next level after that. This is Lamborghini money. This is Ferrari money. This is McLaren money. This is special car money. And it is a special car. Okay. But the plot thickens. There is an application process for this car. Okay. And it harkens back. To something else. So guys, let's keep going. Who's having fun tonight? We are having fun talking about cars. I hope you guys are enjoying it too. Guys, leave me your comments. Give me a like and subscribe. Come on, let's keep going. How about this thing, guys? 
Let's look at this together. What are we looking at here? You talk about supercar, hypercar. You talk about halo car, the Ford GT. Now, this thing is a million dollar plus car. What are these? 1.5, 1.6, 1.7, $2 million. Okay, these are big money cars. These are what I would call investment grade cars. These are extremely special. One one hundredth of one percent of the car guy population will ever get their hands on one of these and own one and drive one and love one. Okay, let's be real. Let's be blunt. A lot of these are going to be in collections or they're going to belong to the elite super rich who, listen, God bless them. Go forth and prosper. Do what you do. But this is not something you're going to see uh, cruising on down the road, somebody really enjoying the, head out, the heck out of it on a daily basis. These are very special cars. I believe the first Ford GT, when it came back, if you will, 2005, guys, keep me honest, leave me your comments, had that retro styling, was really cool. Again, this thing is just two orders of magnitude ahead of that car, though, in terms of what it is, its presence, uh, its status as an elite supercar, hypercar type of platform, you know, investment grade, collector's grade car. But we're not here to talk about the Ford GT tonight. Full transparency, I was never in love with these cars. The first generation GT, when it came out, I believe in 2005, fast forward to when these came out. Listen, they are amazing cars. Whenever I see them, I take the time to check them out. Beautiful cars, that V6 platform, Kind of unique, kind of disruptive. I dig it, okay? But this is not something that I kind of salivate over. It's just not, doesn't talk to me on that level. You guys know, if you're a real car guy, you know what I'm talking about. Cars got to talk to you, right? Now, this Mustang GTD is talking to me, guys. And I want to look at this again with you. And then I want to I wanna go out on a limb here. Guys, here it is, the Mustang GTD. Coming out as potentially, what, late 2024? Uh, they should be available. I think it's going to be a 2025 model year. This 800 horsepower track beast special Mustang. Absolutely incredible. Carbon fiber body, carbon fiber drive shaft, rear transaxle, eight-speed dual clutch, 800 plus horsepower, supercharged. Your buddy CJ is on the list. I put my hat in the ring. I want one of these cars. I'll buy one of these cars. Mr. James Farley, president of Ford, the chief over at Ford. Your buddy CJ says, approve me. I'm a car guy, lifelong car guy. What do you want to know? Right? I'm just, I'm just talking, right? I drive all my cars. I've owned multiple Ford Mustangs. I've owned multiple Expeditions and Explorers. I got an Explorer sitting out in the driveway right now. I drive every day. I drive all my cars. So why do I share that? Uh, I'm no better or less than any other automotive gearhead and automotive enthusiast. Um, the only difference, maybe, look, I can afford this car. I'll be blunt. I'll buy it. What you want? You want money? <laughs> I'll put down whatever you want me to put down. You want me to keep it for X? I'll sign the paper, right? I will drive this car. I will drive it every day, every day that I can. I'll take it to the grocery store. I'll take it to Cars and Coffee. I'll do some laps in it. I'll take it to the drag strip, you know. Um, I'm that automotive enthusiast. You know, I'm a passionate car guy who likes to drive his cars. And whatever I have, whether it's my Lamborghini or my Corvette or my Mustangs or my Challengers, anything I've owned, my McLaren, my Porsche, anything over the years, I'm a drive. Which is why when I look at something like the Ford GT or cars at that level, investment grade cars, I'm not, I'm not in the automotive enthusiast hobby for investment. Business is business for me. Like I do my business stuff when I do my business stuff. For me, cars are a passion. They're my hobby. So I'm sitting here saying to myself, look, why not me, right? Which is why in all seriousness, I know y'all think I'm being a bit tongue in cheek tonight, but I'm being real. Your buddy CJ's real. And those of you who know me know I am. I'll buy this car. I'm on the list. I'm eager to go through the full application process. If Ford approves me, I'm going to buy it. And I'll go through that experience with y'all. Uh, and those that know me know that I drive the heck out of this car. So I only sit here and I ask myself, like, if not me, then who? Because, you know, look, 
For a car like this, and this is just me, right? When I look at a car like this, or even like the four GTs, or any of these, you know, these special cars, the worst thing that can happen to me is for them to become investment grade, going in a collection, and then just being sold by super rich guys over and over again for a profit, and they're never driven. I like to see cars driven. Leave me comments if you feel the same. Look, if you're some bougie collector and you're all about the, you know, the bottom line and the profit you can make on cars, good for you. But that to me is business. That's your buddy CJ when he's doing business. When I'm doing cars, I'm not doing business. I'm having fun. And that's what we're doing on this podcast tonight. And that's why I petition Mr. James Farley from Ford. Approve me, sir. Full respect. And as an avid Ford guy, my entire life, I've had Fords on and off. On and off, I'll be real. But I got one now. I've had Mustangs, uh, you know, uh, and I want one of these. And I'll buy it. And I hope I get approved, guys. But if I do get approved, I'll tell you. I'll tell you what the application process is. If I get declined, I'll tell you. But uh, I don't know. Haven't heard anything yet. But your buddy CJ puts his money where his mouth is. If Ford approves me, I'll buy one. I... Listen, when this first came out, I kind of just rolled my eyes a bit like, oh, gosh, there's a car that's going to end up in collections and we'll never see the street. But then I really started thinking about it and I started looking into it more. And I said, you know what? Maybe not. It's at that price point. As I said, you can compare it to McLaren, you know, Ferrari, Lamborghini, high end special Porsche, you know, certain high-end special Maseratis or Aston, so on and so forth. It's in that same category, but it's different. This is a Ford. This is America's best, you know, built Ford tough. We got the Blue Oval boys doing something like this. Ford versus Ferrari. You better believe it. What I don't like is anything that's sort of elitist. That's just not your buddy, CJ. That's not how I grew up. That's not who I am, you know. I've, I've reached a certain point in life where, you know, I'm able to kind of do what I want, and, and, and I worked really hard to get to that level. Full transparency, I'm telling you like it is, but I'm certainly not bougie and elitist. That's why I say I get my hands on one of these four GTDs. I'll be out there with you boys, rolling in the street and at the events. So uh, anyway, just wanted to come on, on here, guys. Tell me what you think about the Ford Mustang GTD. I think this is an incredible car in all seriousness. Uh, perhaps is this the ultimate Mustang? That's the next thing, right? And I'd love to hear from you in the co in your comments. Is this the ultimate Mustang? Is this the absolute summit, the peak of Mustang evolution and technology? Can there be much more? I don't know. What do you guys think? Uh, <clears throat> lastly, I'm eager to go through this application process. If I get my hands on one of those cars, you guys are going to be you're going to know about it throughout the whole process. Uh, Ford Motor Company, think about your buddy CJ. I'd be a great owner and I keep it and I drive it. I ain't in it for investment. I'm in it for the fun. I'm in it for the hobby, just like you guys. Your buddy CJ is just like you. We're having a blast with this podcast, guys, in all seriousness. Please give me a like and subscribe. Leave me your comments. Keep coming back. Love to have you and take care of yourselves. And uh, I'll see you on the next one. Peace.